and welcome to another episode of North Hill Junction. Now, today's episode was going to be all about bus wires and connectors and such things, and it still will be, um, but it's going to be with a, a slight difference. So we will go over to the layout uh, eventually, but what I wanted to do first before we uh, went over there is I want to have a look at um, what I've decided to go with in terms of connecting my bus wire to the drop feeders, um, to the dropper wires. Now, I had already filmed part of this episode on the layout where I attached a red and black bus wire to the bottom of the baseboard, which I'll show you shortly, with the intention of attaching the droppers to um, suitcase connectors, um, which I've got right here. So for those of you who are not familiar with suitcase connectors, they're really easy to use, really cheap. So what happens is um, you pass your bus wire straight through, goes in one end and out the other and continues off to your layout. And then there's another small hole where you put your dropper wire in. What you do then is with both wires in there is you press the blade down on top and it pinches the two wires together or it, or it splices them together if that's the right term. It makes a good electrical contact between the blade and the two wires passing through to make your connection. They're good, as I said, relatively inexpensive. Um, but I wanted to have a look at what else there was out there. So you've got the old fashioned chop block, which works well. Um, bus wire in, daisy chain to join all of those together, and then your bus wires coming out. So they're a good option. Um, but what I wanted to go with is something I saw on another channel I follow, um, Chadwick Model Railway, um, really good channel. Um, Charlie um, is, is fantastic, explains things really well, a lot of good ideas and suggestions. Um, and he came up with um, these things. See that now these are called barrier strips now these these are, are really good because they work in a very similar way to the old chop block um, but what you can do or what what these um, barrier strips come with if I can get the top off it comes with a little protective plastic top on top it comes with these now what these do is if you loosen the screws off along one end and slide that in there, he says, optimistically. Slide that in there. Now I'm going to need to loosen the screw off a bit there. A bit there. Like so. And then you put your in there like so and then you tighten all those up what that then gives you then is six continuous continuously connected um, screw terminals to attach your bus wires to and what I plan to do is I've, I've dug some of these out of a, a set I had so these little they're not called spades, fork connectors perhaps. They'll slot quite nicely in there like so. Like that. And then what we'll do is we'll take our red and our black droppers So, feed them in there, like that, and then, this is not really the right pair of pliers for this, to crimp these, it's going to work. I have actually got a pair of crimping um, pliers for this but 
back at the other day now. So I'm gonna continue trying to do it with this. Nope. Bear with me a second while I find them. place and then squeeze like so and there you are a good solid connection and then as before bring that one out slot that one in screw it down and there you go there's your dropper wire attached to your bus wire and obviously bus wire will come in one end and maybe that's where it'll end for you it might come out the other end what I'm planning to do is because there's, there's quite a bit of room in here in these connectors is I want to put more than one wire in. I might I might double that up to get more connections I might put two in there like so. I know this is black, but so if I can get two twisted together, slot them in there. Might even might even solder them together, perhaps for a good connection. Pinch that down, and then we've got we've got two wires attached. Now these in this this box I've got here, there were six of these. So six, lots of six. You can get these in twos, fours, six, eights, tens, and twelves. I think it goes up to so twelve connections. So six one side, six the other is a six. Twelve one side, twelve the other is a twelve. And you get the same amount of bus bars. So in this this pack, I've got one, two. Three, four, five, six reds, and one, two, three, four, five, six blacks, three bus wire, black or red. And they're really good, they're really solid, they're well made, and they're not expensive. So for these six, plus the six bus bars, red and black, was £8.99, free delivery from Amazon. And they do them in all sorts of shapes, as I said, from, from two up to 12, depending on what you need. Really inexpensive, very solid, good quality. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be using. So now you've seen the demonstration, we're gonna actually go over to the layout now and put them into practice. Okay, so welcome back. So as I said, I had put the bus wire on the board with the intention of attaching all these to it using suitcase connectors but I quickly thought to myself that once I put all these on there's going to be an absolute mess of suitcase connectors on here and I I just don't like it I just don't like the way it looks it looks messy and whilst the suitcase connectors are really good and I do recommend them even though I'm not using them myself they do fail from time to time and what I mean by if you if you press the blade and you don't press it absolutely square, the, the blade folds. And the problem is then it's by the time it's folded, it's already pinched the wire. You can't take it off. You can't remove a suitcase connector. That's it. And it just uh, it just looks messy for me. I'm, I'm not I'm not keen. Plus, I was keen to try something different. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach one of these barrier strips to the board. I think I'm going to need two by the looks of it. I'm going to need one here. And one here obviously I need one for red one for black so it's two and two um I've, I've had a look at where the where the majority of these wires come to and I reckon about 
I reckon I'm out of there. There's not gonna be any track down here, so I don't need to worry about that. So I think I think there. Yeah. Back to back. Back. Let's just think about this, shall we? There, I think. Side by side, one there, one there. Let's go with that. So I've got my red one already. That we looked at during the, the quick demo I did. So just need a couple of screws. The holes are quite a recess quite quite deep, so a couple of screws in here. I think red right there. tidy up all these wires eventually. Bring them in like that to about there. Get my snippers. twist like that. Now I'm going to solder it um, just to make it stick together better and give it a better connection. Like, you've got to be really careful here though not to put too much solder on because if you put too much solder on it it won't fit into the this little splicer. Just a little bit I think is all that's going to be needed. There we go, just a tiny bit. And then get my red splice connector, if that's what it's called, space connector, whatever. There goes the soldering iron again. fits which it does yeah pliers and clump it on down just like that and then Come that off, slot it in. And there's your connection, very nice and tidy. Obviously these wires are, are cable tile or something at some stage, but very neat and tidy. Now, what we need to do is we need to obviously attach the bus uh, cable to here. Now, what I'm going to do with this, I am going to I'm going to splice these using the suitcase connectors because I 
it's the easiest way to do it, I think, for me. So, pop your suitcase connector on, it just slots on, like so. And then what we need is a short run of short run of this slightly larger gauge cable. Strip the end. Now what I'm going to do is, if it fits in here, which it should do, it will do if I twist all the strands together, like so. Apply the squeeze. Like so, yep. And I'm going to put this one on this side. So there's plenty of room. So why not? Slacken that off. Slide it in. Throw everything on the floor. Nice and tight. And then find the side of the suitcase connector that accepts the extra cable. Slide that in. Just gotta make sure, there we go, that it goes all the way through. And then get your pliers nice and square on the on the blade and squeeze. And there we go, you feel the pinch. And it's on. And I think you'll agree, hopefully you agree, that that looks quite um, quite nice and tidy. Now what I'll do is I'll do the rest because you don't need to watch me do that. You've already seen one and we'll come back when it's all done. So welcome back and as you can see we're all done. Um, and I think you'll have to admit, or I'll certainly admit, it looks rather nice. Um, it was very easy to do, it didn't take me long, probably took me 10 minutes to do the whole lot. Um, I've done the electrical continuity testing from the from the bus wire just down here, all the way up into the, all the connections and um, perfect. Um, I, I obviously still need to tidy these wires up a little bit, a few cable ties in there just to tidy those up, but nothing dramatic. Um, and overall, I think it's gone rather well. I would like to have used black here rather than yellow, but I didn't have any black only had yellow I might, I might get some some black for future use um but i can easily tell which is which um yeah i'm uh, very happy with that um I've, obviously i've got to do the other side that side um but this side's done and um yeah very happy with these barrier connectors so as i said barrier connectors um packs of six of different shapes and sizes 8.99 for this size a bit more for the, the large ones um, I'll put the link in the description from Amazon. You can also get them on eBay. So if you don't use Amazon, you can get them from there. Um, and I highly recommend them. Um, so all that's left to say is the usual, and that is please don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and click the little bell and set the notifications to all. So next time I upload a video, you'll be the first to get it. Uh, that's all. Take care. And bye for now.